It's late July in the middle of a heat wave. The temperature is rocketing toward triple digits and grinding New Jersey to a halt. As sweltering as it is outside, it feels even hotter inside Miller Brothers MMA, a small gym in rural Sparta. Inside, MMA fighter Jim Miller is punching, elbowing, and grappling to get ready for his big brawl Saturday. How are you feeling? I think it's 95 degrees in here. The gym feels like a sauna, the air thick, moist, and unbearable. The floor looks like it's been mopped with sweat, and the pungent aroma of smelly gym clothes hovers over everything. Miller wears a SpongeBob SquarePants tank top that screams fun and games, but his icy demeanor tells a different story. Jim A. Ken Miller! He could be training any place on earth, He's the all-time record holder for most fights in the UFC. He's headlined cards, traveled the country for brawls, and established a name as one of the sport's most electrifying fighters. Yet Miller chooses to train right here, in a nondescript gym nestled in the rolling hills of Sussex County, an area filled with green grass, forest, and general stores. I'm not a big town guy, big city guy, you know, like I, I like it a little bit quieter. I've got a, a, a nice core of people around me that, that I've known for quite some time and, and uh, you know, they've, they've definitely helped me along the way. The 35-year-old fighter is from these parts and he can't imagine being anywhere else. He may be a feared brawler, widely known for his exciting bloody fights in a cage, but his real-life persona couldn't be more opposite. He's a simple guy who likes to eat dinner with his family, brew beer in his basement, and go hunting in the fall. The world of MMA full of big and brash personalities. The type of athletes who talk trash before brawls and gloat over the body of felled opponents. A style made famous by fighters like Conor McGregor, Chael Sonnen, and Ronda Rousey. Miller's reputation, however, derives from an entirely different sport. And he, without a doubt, is the Cal Ripken of MMA. Ripken, who played baseball for the Baltimore Orioles, is known as the Iron Man of Major League Baseball, setting the record for most consecutive games played at 2,632. It's a fitting comparison because Saturday, right here at the Prudential Center in Newark, Miller will once again set the record for most fights in UFC history when he takes on Clay Guida at UFC on ESPN5. Miller is tied for the record with Donald Cowboy Cerrone at 32 bouts. It's a mind-boggling number considering all those times Miller stood in a cage and was punched, kicked, kneed, and elbowed in the head and body. Plus, his record doesn't even include the 12 fights before he and his brother Dan Miller signed with the UFC in 2008. Jim Miller is revered for his durability and willingness to fight anyone, anywhere. He's the only fighter in UFC who has never picked an opponent, never turned down a fight. A few days after I watched Jim Miller work out at his gym, I met his father at Sparta High School, not far from Jim Miller's home. Michael Miller says he hasn't been back here since his children finished school 17 years ago. His eyes light up once we reach the wrestling room where young Jim and his brothers Michael and Dan spent countless hours practicing. They'd keep a scoring system with points for matches won as a way to make each other better. Nostalgia and pride fill Michael Miller's chest as he comes face to face with his own legacy. Several banners listing previous champions are raised in an otherwise empty room. Even after massive school renovations, his son's names are still there nearly two decades later. But these accolades aren't what matter most. Being a role model, that's important, and doing the right thing, that's important to them. You know, but as far as you know, what they've accomplished, you know, I'm sure they're proud of themselves. I don't live and breathe uh, you know, mixed martial arts. I, I come in here, I focus on what I'm doing, and then I go home and, you know, it's, I try to keep it out of my mind for the most part. In a time when current events have politicized nearly every form of social media, Miller likes to keep it lighter. He frequently posts on Twitter highlighting his dry sense of humor, his adventures in the New Jersey backwoods, and even his incredible take on the bottle cap challenge in which he hits the bottle by shooting an arrow. Although he's a New Jersey mixed martial arts hall of famer, Miller really just feels like the guy next door. In other words, he enjoys doing the things the average person from rural America likes to do. If it, 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 it's either food or woodworking or uh, brewing or whatever, like I, I, I particularly like making things that I get to share with people. He's the guy next door until it's time to fight. 
In a few days, he'll put his nice guy persona on the shelf for a few minutes when he takes on Guida on ESPN. Then, he'll show the world another one of his special talents. His ability to take another man apart inside a cage. For NJ.com, I'm Tennyson Donnie Coleman.